Gen Y, Gen X, Millennials, Generation Me, Generation Internet. You know who you are. You've been crushed, hit hard by this economy. So if you're dealing with college debt, I mean, maybe you're even trying to move out of your parents' house or start a new business. Look, the only way you're going to be able to do that is to be able to produce and to get people to pay you what you're worth. I'm fighting for your generation. I'm not counting you out. I believe in you. We're here to give young hustlers the advice and tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Welcome to Young Hustlers, where every Thursday I come to you to talk about how to keep that hustle fresh. Now look, when we do Young Hustlers, I'm not talking about millennials. I'm not talking about your age, because how old are you anyway? Who cares? You 17? You 170? Man, I don't care how old you are. I don't care about you white, you black, you young, you old, you a mama, a daddy. I don't care. You know what I care about? I care about helping you keep your hustle young. That's why we call this Young Hustlers. My phone number is 305 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. Big shout out to my friends at YouTube who always love a strong brother. And I want to give a big shout out to them people at Facebook. They jamming me at Facebook, okay? They stopping me. They're trying to freeze me up, okay? So what did I do? You know what I'm doing right now? Facebook, y'all so stupid. Rich and stupid, dumb, okay? You guys shut me down on the Facebook. What do I do? I keep my hustle young and vibrant, okay? I keep my create rolling and drolling, okay? I keep moving on the court, okay? Hey, maybe I got to do my three-point shot. Maybe I got to do my bank shot. Maybe I got to do my foul shot. Maybe I got to sneak in, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to put everything on YouTube and then drop it back on the face of book. Uh, 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 uh. Okay? Look, I want to talk to you about closing deals today, if you don't mind. You guys good, Robert? You good? Robert Sislow's in the house. Hi. John, Big John's in the house. Robin's here. And we want to take your call, 305-865-8668. I am known. People know me as an author, expert business expert, CEO of four companies. People brag about me, talk about how great I am, how good I am. I try not to do that myself, but I will if you make me. One thing I will tell you, if I'm bragging, I'll tell you how good a closer I am. In fact, today, today, if you call me, I'm going to give you a free copy of Close Survival Guide. Best-selling book on closing the deal. I guarantee you it will be the most valuable weapon you ever have in closing deals. And what I want to share with you today is why you're not closing deals. Two reasons you're not closing deals. Number one, you don't have a full pipeline. If you want to close more deals, what do you got to do? You got to girth up, dog. You got to have a full pipeline. Okay, I had a guy call me yesterday. Man, I'm a better closer than you. I said, dude, you might be. But you got nobody in your pipeline. It don't matter. You understand? If you don't have anybody in your pipeline, how good a closer you are will not matter. Number two, if you're taking nerds or notes on your nuts. Number two, you don't close deals because you don't get there. You guys never get to the close, okay? Look, there's five major reasons why people don't buy, okay? They don't close. Most people spend their time selling, never closing. They never get to the close, okay? What I do when I do a presentation, and today's all about sales, okay? I want young hustlers to be more about sales, marketing, promotion, selling, selling, selling. Because if you want to get your hustle bright, tight, like, like if you want to get it so bright, you're like, people are like, man, is that, is that, is that Richard Pryor on fire? If you, did y'all see that? Did y'all see the documentary on Richard, man, it's so good. Okay, something about no logic with Richard Pryor. Look, if you want to get your hustle tight, man, close a deal today. Okay, when you close people, when you turn people, when you turn rebuttals and obstacles and delays into closes today, whoo, 
You're the bright shining star in the office. You're the bright shining star at your house. You're like, I closed the deal today. When you go home at night and your little kid walks up to you and says, oh, daddy, it's so good to see you. Little eight-year-old. Oh, Bobby, you're home. You're finally home. Did you close the deal today? Even an eight-year-old knows to ask his daddy or his mama, did you close the deal today? Did you sell something? And then you look down at the little, the little wobbly eyes of the little kid. He's almost got little teardrops underneath. Little, little, little doe eyes, little doggy eyes. Papa, did you sell something today? Did you close a deal? And you look down, and you're like, no, I didn't, son. And he's like, why did you go to work? Why didn't you stay home with me, you weak suck? And the little dude turns into an alien, okay? Look, you don't close deals because you never asked. You never set it up. You never went into the deal. When I go into a deal, I go into a deal like this, with the intention to close, not to sell. I go into the, with the intention not to prospect, but to close, okay? I make it clear what I want. I want to do business with you. I was on a phone call today. I want to do business with you. You have this many locations, okay? I'm figuring those, that many locations for my product would be worth about $3 million to us this year. $3 million. That is my intention. My intention is to earn your business, okay? Now, only two reasons you won't do that. You don't think it's going to work or you're not the decision maker. Which one is it, dude? I'm loading you up, man. I'm giving you a great pitch if you got the courage. When I come back from break, I'm going to talk to you about why people don't close, why you don't close. You didn't ask, didn't have the intention, didn't set it, didn't lay the price out, never asked for the business. But I'm going to come back and break and show you the number one reason your customer doesn't close with you. The phones are loaded. They're full. Instagram is jamming. YouTube is freaking. Grant Cardone TV is tweaking. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back for Young Hustlers. This is real. Off the chart. Be here live. Be here live. You are coming. Game changer. You need to be here. I'm definitely going to be back. Franchising is listed by Grant Cardone as one of the ways to become a millionaire. Let the experts at Brand Finders be with you every step of the way as your partner finding, buying, selling, and promoting franchises. With over 10 years experience, Brand Finders is the company to help get set up with franchising, to help you get set up with owning your own franchise, and finding a franchise that's right for you. Visit FranFinders.com. That's FranFinders.com to get started with your search today. This isn't landscape design. This is lifestyle design. Steve Griggs is the best landscaper on the planet and gives you knowledge and data that you can't even find on Google. Featured on Huffington Post, Entrepreneur.com, Grant Cardone TV, Steve Griggs is the entrepreneur built and designed to help you make your home become the lifestyle of your dreams. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. That's Steve Griggs is with an e-commerce store, physical products to ship. We're here to help. Ship for me is the most efficient shipping fulfillment service in the world. Get your products to your customers fast, save money in your business, and satisfy your customers immediately. With Ship for Me, order fulfillment. Spread worldwide, we are the best in the industry with no upfront cost. We hold your inventory and will ship your products. Get started now at shipforme.com. That's shipforme.com. Welcome back. My energy is at heights I have yet to experience. My name's Grant Cardone, author of seven books, 13 business programs, I am known as the greatest salesman that has ever lived on planet Earth since the beginning of time. It is what it is, dude. Okay, it is what it is. It's not bragging like Muhammad Ali used to say. What did he say? It ain't bragging if. If it's true, if it's true, if it's true, okay? Look, I can teach you how to sell. I can teach you how to market. I can teach you how to promote. I'm not bragging about it, folks. I've done it for myself. I've done it for others. I've worked with Google. I, I was working with Facebook up until yesterday, <laughs> okay? I, I, I've worked with some of the biggest companies on the planet, like Sprint, Ashley Furniture, who Toyota, Chrysler, the military, okay? How, who? Kawasaki, Hiroshima. Oh, bicycle broken from nuclear weapon. 
Okay. So, so look, today what I want to do, every Thursday, actually, I come to you to talk about Young Hustle. The Young Hustle. The Young Hustlers started out as a show about millennials. The problem is we got people 45 years old saying, dude, I got to keep my hustle young. And today this show is about keeping your money bright, your hustle young, your money young, your marriage young. Dude, how do you keep the energy going? The fastest way to do that is to close a deal. I don't care if you're not in sales. You're not in sales. You close a deal today, I guarantee you, your attitude will change. You do not have to walk on fire to change your state. Close a damn deal. You close the deal. Robert, am I right or wrong, Robert? Robert DeCislo, the video genius, this probably one of the most brilliant marketing people on planet Earth today. Okay? Mm. Mm. Okay? I know dude, how to close the deal. Dude, there's, there's two re- He knows how to close the deal. Big deals. He was working at the Banana and the Republic. <laughs> he lived in the Banana Republic, and then he in came the to America and couldn't get away from working for the Banana Republic. <laughs> It's couldn't true. close a freaking shirt, dude. You're shirt right. was on sale for freaking sixteen dollars. Couldn't close the deal. Nope. He comes to work for Grant Cardone, and what does he do? He's closing hundred thousand dollar deals on a daily basis. <laughs> Two days ago, he didn't close the deal. Called me from his apartment. Grant, can you help me, man? Can you help Wouldn't me? What's happen? up, Dad? I'm on my balcony. That's cool, dude. What's <laughs> what you doing? About I'm on the other side <laughs> of the balcony, dog. Okay, what floor are you on, bro? It's 16. I'm on the 16th floor and I'm about to jump. Why, man? Because I didn't close the deal. I said, Robert, crawl back over to the other side, bro. (laughs) Your boy GC can tell you why you didn't close the deal. There's only two reasons you don't close, by the way, okay? There's none of which is it was too much, Mm -mm. the competition, Mm -mm. none of which the guy couldn't make a decision. It wasn't his wife wasn't there. There's only two reasons you don't close the deal. Number one, you didn't set it up and you didn't ask. That's true. Okay, those are the first two reasons. Are there a whole bunch of other reasons? Sure. Okay, I can give you a whole bunch of other reasons. What I'm going to do today is everybody that's watching this today is going to get a free copy of Closed Survival Guide. That's how I roll, dog. Mm. I'm not worried about giving a handful of free books out. Somebody's like, why would you give a free book out? There's 8 billion people on planet Earth, dum mm. dum. Okay, 8 billion. I give a couple hundred books away. How did that hurt anybody? My, I can still grow my business. Okay, I only ask you to do two things. Number one, you got to pay the shipping. You pay the shipping on the book. I'll ship it to you. If you live in freaking Iceland, it's going to be more money to ship it than if you live freaking 12 blocks from here. If you live 12 blocks from here, come pick it up so I don't have to ship it and you don't have to pay anything. So you got to pay the shipping. You got to figure out how to get the book. Number two, all I ask you to do is when you get the book, do a review on it. Okay? I'm not, I'm not going to wait to send you the book for the review. Once you get the book, read it. And review it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I don't care what you say. Okay? I dare you to read this book and watch what it does and then write any review you want. I know the review is going to be good because I know what people say when they read this book. Look, I've read them all. I've read Tracy. I've read Hopkins. I've read, since the beginning, dude, I've read the, the, the Tin Cans, Closer, the, every book that is available on closing. Everything that Tom Hopkins ever wrote, I read it. Okay? Everything Tracy wrote, I've read it. Okay? I am, those two dudes right now are friends of mine. They'll tell you, bro, you took the whole game to another level. Mm. Okay, just the whole deal, the whole spin and everything. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little tip right now. And we're going to take your questions on closing the deal. When I set up a deal, I tell people my intention. My intention is to get a deal today. Hmm. My intention is not to talk about the product, not to tell you about our product. My intention is to get you on our product tonight. It is a hard sale. I can't do that. I'm really not comfortable. I'm in insurance. I'm in finance. I'm in, dude, good for you. Good for you. Do you believe in your product? If you believe in your product, I have a life insurance product here. I have a financial planning product here. I have a social media package for you. And my intention is to close you while I'm here. Well, that's never going to happen. That's fine. I'm just telling you what my intention is. I have the best product in the marketplace. I'm selling my product without selling my product. I have the best product in the marketplace, the most affordable product. I have a product that works better than any other product in the marketplace. I'm just telling you what my intention is. The fact that you don't want to buy, not going to buy, you don't have the budget, you've already made a decision, you're not the guy. Got nothing to do with my intention, though. (laughs) Okay, number two. 
Number one, tell them your intention. Okay. Number two, number two, I want to tell you there's only two reasons you won't do this with me. There's only two reasons. I want you to tell people what their objections are before they have their objections. I want you to set the atmosphere, the culture. Okay. If you're running a rock concert, set the mood, if you will, because if you're a closer, you are a rock star. And if you're not a rock star, you're not a closer. Okay. Set the mood in the arena when they come in there, man. Okay. Set the mood, baby. Set, I'm setting the mood. Hey, my intention's to close you. Number two, there's only two reasons you won't buy this product. Number one, you don't think it'll work for you. Or number two, you're not a decision maker. Now, there's no, there's no decision for you guys to make. All you got to do is go to, what's the website? GrantCardone.com forward slash closers. GrantCardone.com forward slash closers. And put in the coupon code free. We went ahead and stretched our imagination said f-r-e-e and you get that book for free okay dare you to use the book dare you for it to change why do people not buy things two reasons people don't buy things why do people not advertise with robert sisla why do people not advertise at grant cardone tv where i push your name and your brand we create video for you we promote it for you we market it for you okay we put it on grant cardone tv youtube facebook twitter Okay, every channel that I have, we tell you, we bring you into the office, promote your product. Why do people not give me money to do that? Number two, 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 two reasons. Number one, they're not what? The decision maker. You don't actually control your own life. Or number two, you don't think it's going to work. That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. Now, look, if you don't control your own life, I can't help you. <laughs> okay. Now, now, when we come back from break, man, I'm going to take your specific call. So call me right now. 305-865-8668. Too many people are being kept from their dreams by circumstances they couldn't control and mistakes from a long time ago. All they needed was a second chance or a fresh start. That's why Cash Now was created. Since 1997, Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now, has been the premier expert in home renovation and resale in the York Tri-State area. Dedicated to premier customer service, getting the best deals at the lowest price, this is the only expert company you should deal with when it comes to buying and selling a home. Offering a five-step home buying process, Ray and his team will ensure your needs are covered and get you closer to your dreams of buying a home in any city across the United States. To find out more on how you can get started on owning or selling a home, visit cashnowpa.com. That's cashnowpa.com to get started. Too many people are here. If you're looking for digital cash flow, other streams of income, and you know how important multiple streams of income are, have you ever thought about making money online with zero money to start with? Let the expert Coach Gianni help you do this. From Amazon sales to banner advertising, monetizing your website effectively so every click makes you money. Build an online brand that sells and make money off of your website starting right now. Coach Gianni offers comprehensive, simple coaching of how to make money online, how to monetize your website, and come out on top in an arena where everybody's trying to get position. Go to CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow. That's Coach CoachGianni.com forward slash cash. This is real. Oh, Off the chart. Be here live. Be here live. You are coming. Game changer. You need to be here. I'm definitely going to be back. Hey, welcome back, Grant Cardone. We're watching Young Hustlers today, where I keep my hustle fresh, dog. You want to stay looking young like me? Fresh? Okay, dude, energy, baby. You need energy, man. You guys need energy, man. You need energy. How do you get energy? You need to know what you're doing, man. Why do people not like sales? They don't know how to close. People that know how to close love sales. People that don't know how to close hate sales. I don't like the rejection. Dude, if you knew how to close, you wouldn't experience the big R. Okay? Quit saying, I don't like rejection. Say, I don't like not closing. Why do people not close? Because they never set the intention, the mood. And number two, they never ask. Okay? Dude, dude there's only two reasons you won't buy from me. You're not the decision maker or you're not going to use it. 
That's it. It's the only reason. I got an $80,000 program in here. It's the best sales training in the world. There's only two reasons you won't buy it from me. I haven't even showed it to him. There's only two reasons you won't buy this jet. Only two reasons. Number one, you don't think you'll use it enough to get the money out, right? Or number two, you're not qualified to buy it. You're not the decision maker. No, dude, I, I'm not qualified. If he's not qualified, you can't close him anyway, okay? So there's some major things that you have to know about closing a deal. I have to have a decision maker. They have to be qualified, and I got to have them on the right product, okay? If he's never going to fly a plane, hey, there's only one reason you won't buy it. Two reasons, actually. Number one, what? You're never going to use it, man. And number two, you're not the decision maker. Or number three, you don't have the money. And by the way, if you don't have the money, you're not the decision maker because you can't make the decision because you ain't got the money. So let's talk about something you can buy, okay? So I got an $80,000 training program, then we'll start taking callers, okay? Number one, number one, you won't buy it because you won't use it. You don't think you'll use it. Or number two, what? You're not the decision maker. Okay, now I need to find that out now. And by the way, you need to find it out early in the close, early in the deal, not seven hours into the deal. That's why your deals take so long because you don't go in with the intention. You don't set the mood. You don't ask who the decision maker is. And you don't say, hey, by the way, the only reason you won't use it, it won't be because of the price, won't be because of the terms, won't be because of your budget, won't be because you're not the decision maker. It's because you don't think you'll use it. Okay, let's take the first caller from Andrew from Andrewville. From the ORD, what's happening? Come man? on, brother. What's happening, man? Nothing, man. I just want to say, first off, I'm in college right now, and I told everyone in my family, everyone knows it, after I graduate, I'm going to come to Miami, I'm going to sit my ass down in the receptionist desk, and I'm going to wait for an hour or a day till I get your attention you give me a job. Dude, you don't even have to do that because you got my attention right now, strong man. What's up? Let's go. I want to talk about team, Grant. You got such a vibrant, crazy, and a great way team. Yeah. I want to know how do I find those people and where are they? Well, dude, you, you know, I mean, look, I've lived in five cities. You know, I, I lived in Lake Charles, Louisiana, Houston, Texas, uh, San Diego, Los Angeles. You'd think, you'd think a bunch of freaking great people would be in Los Angeles. When, right. when, we, when are we going to fix all that, guys? Looking kind of skanky over there, man. Okay. Uh, Wow. You got to go. You got to go. You know, I've lived in Miami. I just moved to Miami three or four years ago. You know, you know what? Every city I went to, I didn't find those people. And then I'm like, why am I not finding the right people? Oh, I know why. It's me. I wasn't being that dude, bruh. Right. So when you become, when you become the, that guy, and then say, hey, by the way, I'm not letting any of these other wanks in. So, you know, my wife talked about it at the 10X Growth Conference. She talked about the empire. You know, we were having this conversation about the empire. People, people, first of all, people should build an empire. People should decide, I'm building my empire. Okay? Well, who am I going to let in my empire? Who am I going to get out of the empire? Empires fail, not because of a lack of money, because they didn't get rid of the bad guys. Empires don't right. fail because people come from the outside and invade the empire. Somebody from the inside made the empire weak so that the walls didn't keep out the scumbags. So, dude, mm. you need to become the dude, brother man, right. Andrew. Okay? Thanks for calling in, bro. Sure. Can't wait to meet you. Next caller. We're talking about closing the deal today. I appreciate it. William from D.C., bro. What kind of closer are you? What's going on, Grant? It's William Mayhew, the college kid. How are my you? My man, my man. Now, this dude right here is a killer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I'm in the process of ordering my, uh, the book, and I, I can't wait for it. I'm, I'm sending it to my college. I'm at home on break right now. But I got a question for you. Say somebody loves your product, right, like Grant Cardone's products, but they say, I can't afford it. What's the next thing that you say? I, I understand, sir. Okay, agree with them. I understand. Okay. I appreciate the way you feel. I totally agree with it. Let me just suggest this. You can't afford not to do this. Okay. Okay. Now, let, let me just say this. The financial thing is a real thing. See, I'm not done closing a deal right now. I just talked. I just said something. All I'm doing is using segues. You guys need lots and lots of segues, okay? Now, now, when you say you can't afford it, does that mean you don't have the money? 
or you don't want to use the money. <laughs> now, the speed at which you can respond creates tremendous amounts of certainty and uplift. Okay? So, William, do you know the only real reason people don't buy things? There's one reason I said earlier, two reasons you won't buy. That's not the real reason people don't buy things. There's one reason people don't buy things, and only real, really one reason. Yeah. What, what is it, man? Okay. There's only one real reason. If anybody knows what it is, there's only one real reason people don't buy things. Robert, you know what it is? They're afraid that they're not going to use it. It's not going to work. Lack of certainty. I'm uncertain mm. about myself. Now, the way I the way I pitch that is I'm like, look, there's only two reasons you won't buy this deal. Okay, number one, you don't think you're going to use it. Lack of certainty. I don't tell them that. Mm -hmm. like, you can't tell somebody you're, you're, you lack confidence in yourself. Okay, so what do you do? You make it all right. Why do people not join gym memberships? It's not because of the freaking $49 a month. Dude. They don't think they're going to go. Or to $149 or to $349 at Equinox. Dude, you don't, you, no, you can't tell them they're not committed. No, you can't tell them that. Because you don't think you're going to use them, man. <laughs> why do people not join network marketing companies? Why, why do people not, not? I don't think I'm going to make money in it. I don't think it's going to work for me. Why, right? Why don't people not store diets? Because they don't think they're going to stick with it. Right? Why, why do people not blow up and get big? Why do people not spend money in advertising? They don't think it's going to work. Period, man. Look, the only reason people don't close, don't buy, is because they don't think they're going to stick with it, use it. So... Know that people have uncertainty about money. The reason you don't think the four fifty nine you can afford it is not because it's too much. It's because they think too little of themselves. Okay. You you need you can't tell somebody that the guy the guy the guy gets engaged. William, you get engaged and you want to buy your girlfriend a, an engagement uh, uh, an engagement ring. Or in your case, your boyfriend, okay? You're going to get your boyfriend an engagement yeah. ring, right? And William, William, I know he's chuckling right now. I love that dude. Okay? And, and, and you go out to look at engagement rings, and you really want to buy him a, like a $30,000 <laughs> ring. He's still saying But that. you won't buy him a $30,000 ring. Instead, you buy him like a $3,500 ring. Why? Because you, it's not because you don't love him, dude. It's because you lack certainty about your ability to produce new money in the future. <laughs> Now the guy at the at the at the Aaron Rose or whatever the freaking uh, what's those big ring stores? Oh, uh, Zales. Zales. The the salesman at Zales doesn't know that. He's like thirty five hundred is a lot of money. Yes, it is. He just buys into it, dude. He just buys into it because it's a lot of money to him. So his certainty drops. The customer certainty is already low on what? Not on the product, on the money, on their own money, their ability to produce money. So if you know that, that's why it's so important for you guys. When I put something on sale, like my 10X growth con ticket, it's a $1,500 ticket. I'm giving them away, giving the ticket away. And I say it's 300 bucks, $1,500 ticket for 300 bucks. And you know what the guy says? That's a lot of money. Dude, you stupid, dude. Not about my product. You're stupid to yourself because every time you say 1500 bucks is a lot of money, 300 bucks is a lot of money, you know what you do? You limit your ability to even ever understand what a lot of money is. If you're going to say it's a lot of money, make sure it's got like seven zeros behind it. Anything short of seven or eight zeros ain't a lot of money. I don't care what it is. Okay. All right, next caller. Um, Arthur from Cali. So when somebody says, man, that's a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. He has an uncertainty about the ability to produce new money. Go ahead, man. What's up? Hey, what's up, Uncle G? Yes, sir. Uh, hey, have you got have you gotten your 10x growth con ticket yet? No, I have not. Dude, these are three hundred bucks. Today's the last day. I know. Uh, the thing is, I'm I'm only nineteen years old, and uh, I'm a beekeeper in uh, in uh, in California. I I did not go to college. I I dropped out, and uh, I'm in a family business. My question to you is. How can I how can I grow in a business that is really labor intended and that that is really hard with the with the bees already dying and everything? Or should I should I go out and try to do something else or start a different business? Yeah, dude, I try to stay away from uh, I try to stay away from dying businesses, you know. 
So, you know, you got to find the right vehicle, bro. You don't get in a car that doesn't have gas. Right? You don't get in a car that doesn't have gas. You got to get in a car that's got gas. It's got to have fuel in it, right? You want to take a trip? You need to make sure there's some pilots. There's enough fuel. Everybody knows where we're going. All right? So, run, dude, run. Okay, next caller. JJ from Texas. What's going on, closer? Baby JJ Simmons back in the hospital. Come on, man. Hey, my name's Grant Cardone. Every Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I bring you young hustlers at Grant Cardone TV, at YouTube. It used to be Facebook. But me and, it, me and Facebook having a breakup today, okay? Okay? So look, look, every Thursday, every day actually, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I bring you at least one show somewhere on social media, okay? If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. If you haven't liked or commented or unliked, do it, man. Leave me something, bro, okay? You came here and watched this. Leave something on the damn page, Hate me, love me, I don't care, okay? Leave something on the damn page. I read the comments. I look at your stuff, okay? You anonymous people that just want to hate on me, do it, bro, okay? You nine people that hate every video I drop on the YouTube, the same nine, by the way. Dude, leave me a message, okay? Don't just urinate on it, it, at midnight. Come do it in midday time. Say, burn my grass, dude. Come on, show me your face, bitch. Okay, don't be a little, you know, don't be a hater and a freaking hider. It's one thing being a hater. It's another thing being a hider. Okay, if you're going to be a hater, do it with some courage. Okay, so whatever you do, man, I don't care. I'm all good either way. Post your comments. Let people know about the the YouTube channel. We drop at least one new video on YouTube every single day. There's 3,900 videos here. There's some great content, sales, marketing, promotion, social media, money, finance, real estate. Every day, I drop something on here for free. Speaking of free, okay, go to grantcardone.com forward slash closers. I'm going to give you the best closing book ever written on this planet, okay? If you don't agree with me, I'll give you your money back, okay? All right? Put in the coupon free. Put in the coupon free. You take care of the shipping. I'll send you the book. What else? Number two, two things you need to know about, man. Why do people not close? Why have you not bought your 10X Growth Con ticket? Oh, yeah, I remember. The only reason somebody don't buy is because they lack certainty about themselves. I don't know if I'm going to be around in, in next year. See, you lack certainty. I don't know if I go there and it's going to work. You lack certainty, okay? You lack certainty about yourself. Well, here's the deal. I guarantee you, you're going to be around next March. I guarantee you, you'll be at the event. And by the way, I tell you what, since you're saying, oh, you can't guarantee me that grant. Tell you what I'll do, okay? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can't be there for any reason, I'll give you a full credit at my store. Okay, right now I'm giving you 80% off. This ends tonight or tomorrow. It ends tomorrow, 80% off. It's a $1,500 ticket to see 20 of the greatest speakers that walk this planet. Speakers, entrepreneurs. I'm talking about coal stone killing machine economic magicians. Okay, $299. It ends tomorrow. So if you're going to grab that, it's 80% off. Grab it. By the way, if you don't use the ticket, I'll give you a credit at my store. If you can't be there, I'll give you a credit at my store. If you don't like the event, I'll give you your money back. I don't care, dude. I guarantee you're going to love it, okay? Free book, Close Survival Guide. Go to grantcardone.com forward slash closers. On the way out, promo code put free. If you love the book, tell somebody. If you hate the book, tell somebody. All I ask you to do is tell somebody you got the book. Throw it up on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Chat Snap, YouTube. Do a review on it. Just pay me something back some way other than money and use the book and make a lot of freaking money. Tomorrow I'll be on doing the Cardone Zone. I'll be talking about the Cardone Zone. I'll be talking about the economy. I'll be talking about your career. I'll be talking about your bone. Bone means money. Get that paper right, dog. Get that paper right, okay? Keep your choices there. Get your financial freedom. So you got choices. So you got that FU money one day. Everybody deserves to have FU money. 
you guys at the Instagram.